So this is my second motivational video. And I don't know if you can see or not, you can't really see, but I'm in New York City today. And I wanted to get a better view of the city. I'll actually change it. It's kind of like half and half. I kind of actually like that. And I want to get this big ass crane in the background and all the babies crying and the construction and all the crazy noise happening right here. Um, but I'm in the city today because I wanted to talk about hard work. And I wanted to tie those two things together through my own story of hard work. So it started when I was 16 years old and I got my first job at Burger King. And this is like the most cliche job that you can ever get when you're a teenager, when you're like 16 years old. And that's like, it's been nailed into our heads so hard that like through movies and just people talking about it, like, yeah, when I first got a job, it was at blah, blah, blah. It was a fast food place. And at that time, you're like, you try to avoid it. But I also, this was the first time I applied for a job. And um, it was the first job I got. So I took it and it was whatever. And I worked there for about two or three years. And at the time of working there, I didn't enjoy it or anything. I didn't enjoy it enough to like actually try and move up in that job. But I cared about the job. I cared about the work that I was putting into it. I cared about how the food was made and how fast it was put out. And I cared about the quality of work that I was doing. And through that, I mean, I said, like, like I said before, I didn't enjoy the job like that enough to move up in it. But because I, I put in the work like that, I actually was able to move up in that job. So I, I worked there for about two or three years and then my grandfather uh, put in a word for me at this other job that was a janitor job. And <laughs> I was about 18 then. And when you're 18, you do not think about your second job being a janitor, okay? Like all my other friends, I was watching all of my other friends move up in jobs that were like better quality or something like that and um like if i had a friend that worked at a fast food spot then he worked to like an actual restaurant that was like a decent reputation not like fast food but i took this job because it was better pay and better days off and everything like that so i was working this job and a lot of people didn't really uh like care like a lot of people who worked that job before me they didn't really care about the job like that. So, like, a lot of the people who trained me, they were, like, they just went in every day. They did their thing. They didn't really make themselves, like, known like that or their presence really, like, like uh, you know, blooming in a way. Like, they didn't really, like, make their personality known or their attitude was, like, positive or anything. They just went in, did their job, at, like, to the least amount that they had to do, and then they got out of there. And I saw this. I took note of it, and I said... You know, I'm not going to work like that. I'm going to, you know, be friendly. I'm going to make myself known. I'm going to put in my best work effort and actually care about this job. And about two or three years later, that paid off and I got results from that. And now I work at Amtrak. And that's the reason why I'm down here today, to show you that because of hard work, you get results. And that's my result right here is that I'm able to travel to the city. And I can make this video in the city and I can meet people down here and I can have all these opportunities that I wasn't able to have before. So that's all I'm trying to tell you. And before, before people start thinking that this video, I'm, I'm just trying to make this video because I want to show you, haha, I can get train rides down to the city, blah, blah, blah. I can go all over the country and shit. No, that's not what this is about, okay? I want to tell you to look back at your path and see all the opportunities that came along to get to, to where you are today like when I you know the whole thing that came across making this video was me reflecting on my own decisions and how I got to here I got here through my jobs and it's really it's kind of a trip when you look back like I mean I'm looking back to when I was 16 years old and all the steps that I took and all the uh, results that came through and everything that came across my way to how I got here, right here, making this video. And I want to tell you that hard work pays off. And if you're not seeing these results, if you're thinking to yourself, oh, well, you're just lucky. Well, then you have to put in more hard work. You have to work harder because I'm telling you, the results pay off in every aspect of life. But you, And I'm not talking about just the hard work at your job or whatever you're trying to do. I'm talking about the hard work 
not only in your career, but in the way that you you come off to people, the, your attitude, your personality, the way that you just apply yourself to everyday life in every situation that you come across. That's hard work. That's the hard work that gets you results. Not just one direction, but every direction that you can take. And just really try to think about all the opportunities that are in your life right now and some that you might not see. And just open your eyes to opportunities that uh, that are maybe might be hidden and might have to... Uh, you might have to look for but just uh work harder and you will get results okay this is only the beginning for me i mean it's been what like six or seven years since my first job so like i said this is only the beginning for me and uh if you um get this ability to be able to see things that weren't there before or work harder in directions that will push you to get better things then you can uh, see great results as well. So that's it. Maybe next time I'll try to get a better view of the city. But thanks. Bye.